What is one thing you would like people to know about your culture? Um, so growing up in a small country town, people are very community orientated. They're super friendly, um, always looking out for each other. Um, you can pretty much count on if you're sick or if something tra- a tragedy's happened or if something bad's happened in your life that, you know, there'll be someone on your doorstep with a hot meal and like everyone knows where everyone lives. Everyone knows where everyone works. Like it's pretty much just a big, big family environment. You can, you can always, you can always have someone to, to lean on. doesn't matter who it is, um, which is really good place to grow up. I think, how did you adapt your cultural behaviors into a multicultural city? So pretty much where I grew up, Um, there's only Aboriginal culture and white man British culture. Other than that, there's no diversity whatsoever. So you can imagine um, in that environment, people are very, um, you know, not very susceptible to change and they don't like the indifference. So when I moved to Melbourne, I found that um, I really needed to broaden my mind and open my mind up to other cultures and other beliefs and, um, you know, get to know how other people live because actually when we're we're not all that different and it's fine so that was one thing that I definitely um had to recognize when I first got here what were your expectations of living in a multicultural city so I'm not sure that I really had expectations with regards to multiculturalism I'm more had the expectations of city life opposed to country life. Um, so when I got here, obviously multiculturalism was part of that. Um, but generally it was just the lifestyle change that I was, that I had expectations about. Um, you know, I knew obviously that there was, Melbourne is a massive hub for multiculturalism. Um, but to be honest, I'm not sure that I really had any expectations whatsoever. What would you like to know about other cultural traditions? Um, I think I would like to know the basis behind traditions. Um, So obviously culture is full of different traditions, um, but anyone outside of those cultural spheres don't really understand the purpose of of them. So um, yeah, probably just the reason behind a lot of traditions um, and where they stemmed from. Um, and the his and the history of them as well.